Hey people, Intrude here, 3v3, Katrin and Purification Plant, Blue Team. It's a whole bunch of Tyranids, two Hive Tyrants, this is Bruce Campbell, and we also have Big Mathis. These guys walk through objects, cannot be suppressed, very durable fellas, that have strong offense, disruption and support begin in melee with a basic synapse. Is this the same color scheme? It is. I shall call you Marcelo and Rubio. Alongside is Quarrel, also known as Cry, rocking a Ravenna Alpha. Tunneling hero, great mobility, powerful offense, and a bit of support begins with a ranged weapon. There he goes. Red team, the sickness is an Eversaur assassin, a risk reward melee brawler that explodes on death. Alongside Annoying Fisher as an apothecary, support hero fighting in melee combat by default begins with a heal, passive health, regeneration aura. And rather than off the teams, their Hashman is a brother captain. A durable hero walking through objects cannot be suppressed with powerful offense and support fighting in melee. They are on the east side. Looks like the two Hive Tyrants, no, the Hive Tyrant and the Ravenna Alpha are just going to stomp through the mid immediately here. This is Bruce Campbell coming through with double Termigants and Hormagaunts. Hormagaunts are grabbing that contested power in the mid. Here we go. It is running into two players. Oh, looks like Ravenna's backing them up. Now the Strat Squad. Want to try and get in on the Termigants, but I'm not sure if they're going to be able to. But the captain has turned around to try and get onto the Hive Tyrant here. This is Marcelo. Getting melleed up. They do have their tons of Titan. There's a decent banishment in there. Shotgun Scouts in play now for Annoying Fisher. They have dealt with the Hive Tyrant. These two have double Termigants and Hormigaunts and a Ravenna Alpha to deal with, though. I think they can break through. There's energy burst to slow them down. Yep, Automatis are going to break through. Alongside this Apothecary. Maybe make their way to this power. Meanwhile, west side. This is Big Mathis with the Hive Tyrant. Rubio pushing on through onto the power here. Double Stormtroopers getting shots in. His support now from Annoying Fisher. Nicely done. Splitting their army here. Double Scouts with shotguns. While the attacks cap the mid, and Apothecary gets straight on through to the VP through the mid. Strat squad onto the VP on the western side. So, an aggressive start from the Tyranids. But they were pushed back afterwards. Or were they? Here's Cry. With double Hormagaunts bashing southeast power. Maybe completely here. Because those Stormtroopers are out of it. Here comes the Strat squad. So I think they can bash quickly enough. Maybe. Is this a hive node going up? It is a hive node. You used to be able to put these up like immediately with a Ravenna Alpha that will protect nearby allied infantry from ranged damage, which is pretty handy. I think it's it's very slightly damages enemies that get close as well. You don't get to see them very often, the hive nodes. It would be cool if the Ravenna had a war gear that like upgraded the hive node or changed it or something. That'd be fun. Warrior Brood up here for Bruce Campbell. Warrior Brood also for Big Mathis. Big Mathis did go double Hormagaunts though. Don't see any war gear yet. West side is red. Ebersaur Assassin has 10 cloud grenades to help them fight the double Hormagaunts. 50% less damage and they can't regenerate health. Incendiary going in as well from the operatives. You can flee. Banishment was decently hit. Is this a bio meltdown? No, that's just the effects of the chem cloud grenade, I think. You saw it thrown here. It kind of looks like the uh, bio meltdown damage, but slightly less intense. Warrior brood with a barb strangler for Big Mathis. Bruce Campbell's in the melee state. They're still on this power here. I have noticed a real pain in the ass sometimes. Purgation with their incinerators. 381 to 466 generator replaced. Not sure how many they had to replace there. Good pressure again. On the power with Hormagaunts that are beefed up with adrenal glands. Termigants with their toxin sacks as well. Incendiary grenade goes in. Easily dodged there. Oh no, that's smoke. To debuff their range. Here comes that Ebersaur. There's the chemical grenade. He pops the Psycon. I mean, it's a decent bash. 
can just back off now a bit. Barb Strangler hits the double scouts really nicely. And then they back off. Go for another shot, but they moved out of it. Grenade. I mean, pushes them back, but they didn't get hit by it. 381 to 448 on the VPs. Really good pressure on the power early on from the Tyranids. They do have that Western VP. What's this in the mid, though? That's the brother captain. Trying to get that power back, I suppose. And uh, Marcelo, the Hive Tyrant, is not leaving. He's got an improved synapse as well. Big Mathis with extended carapace. And prize Ravana Alpha with crippling talon and the hardened carapace. Looks like they are going to get that power back and steal those Tyranid generators. Not sure how that exactly works. These weird Tyranid organism generated things. How's that going to work out? Or the Imperial forces. What are they going to get out of those things? Some kind of weird Tyranid juice that they use to power stuff. Brother Captain's got the unending purge. Oh. And Marcelo just leaves. Did they get energy bursted? Maybe they got energy bursted. I've noted up again. And these do cost 230, I think. Maybe it's 220. I don't know. Just pulling numbers out of thin air. Storm Bolter up for the Apothecary. Customized, you know, he's got big hands. The sickness goes tier two, but all three Tyranid players go tier two. Bruce Campbell immediately gets a Tyrant Guard coming on the way. It's going to be fun. Taking back the Western VP. Meanwhile, East side. Bomber wants to get in. They don't have Adrenal Glands. And they're still taking damage because they're using the Purge by Flame thing. Or Purge. I can't remember what that thing's called. But that was basically... Oh, because they, they were capping. That's why they weren't melee and back. That was tricksy. They were still able to shoot on them. Double Termigants. Crippling Poison maybe already been used. Here comes Marcelo, though. Tyrant Guard going to hit the field soon. Briar also getting one. Ravana Alpha just leveled to two. There's some sneaky burrow in action. There's energy burst on the Hive Tyrant. Doesn't le need any energy with his current loadout, but still slows him down. Good special. 360 knockback. But the captain swings and misses. 360 to 407. Does he get unending purge heals on special attacks? Warrior Brood have found some purgation. They've got power melee, those fellas. 18 DPS, I think. Still purgation here. Very determined to burn this gens for the Emperor and stuff. More Tyrant Guard this time for Bruce Campbell getting a second one up. West side is red. Operatives have been quite tricky for Sickness, haven't they? More Tyrant Guards all round. We're going to have five of them on the field here. The Hashman retreats the Strat Squad out. But the Captain's level two. Look at this power bash from Cry on this side. Bully bashed and decapped power. Trying to steal back the mid is the red team. Terminator Librarian up for the sickness. They can use Sanctuary and stuff to mess with the melee stuff. Although they can't knock back the Tyrant Guards with Sanctuary. Get three each, says Bruce Campbell. Of these Tyrant Guards. They're going to have nine Tyrant Guards. Oh boy. Father Curry does have purification vials. Hive Tyrants can call in Tyrant Guards from the Global Bar. I think maybe that's what Bruce Campbell did with one of them. Here they are. 2,500 hit points apiece with 90 odd heavy melee with a 15 damage splash. Uh, nine of them? What are they going to do about this? They're still waiting. Looks like they're trying yet. Bruce Campbell said they don't show it. I think they're trying to keep them hidden hidden until they've got all of them. I have known been a pain in the ass again. Is it damaging these guys? It's not activated now, so I don't know. You do need to activate the ability on it. The spore cloud thing. Does Big Mathis have three? I see two there. Bry doesn't. Double scouts being sneaky, looking for grenades maybe on the Hormogorns and stuff. Anything else for the Eversaw? Yep. 
And the Neuro Gauntlet is up. That will do good DPS to the Tyrant Guards. I wonder if... Oh, it says enemy infantry, so the Chem Cloud is not going to work on the Tyrant Guard. East side. The Hashman gets through with double purgation. They can short work of the gens. Can decap the Brother Captain. I said they can decap the Brother Captain. There we go. Yep. They're going to have nine, I think. Although, did, did Big Mathis get his third? I don't think Big Mathis got the third one out. But look at this. This is going to be awesome. What do you do about this, fellas? Get all the plasma, I guess. They're just backing the hell off here. This is awesome. It's the Tyrant Guard invasion. Backed up by those high of tyrants, of course, who could charge out ahead of them and stuff and knock stuff down. All those Tyrant Guards can also charge. There's one. Huge amounts of disruption. And capillary towers and stuff that could pop up and support. Don't see any yet. Ravenna Alpha's been sneaky. Oh, there's a Venom Cannon up on the Hive Tyrant there. Chem Cloud debuffing those guys a bit. What's this? Pushing up the east side pretty well. Attack base, says Bruce Campbell. This is a mistake, I think. Yeah, don't go into base. They've gone into base. We need to keep those charges to get out of it, I guess. 274 to 398. A rough time for the sickness here. Down goes the Ravenna Alpha. Not sure what they were trying to do. Capillary tower up to help them around. Look at the uh, the Eversaw with the base buff and his Cyclon up. Was like taking no damage from a current guard there. He's tanking it extremely well. Okay, so these guys are super heavy infantry. They will take damage from the base turrets, especially at close range. They need to charge out. Why are they not charging out? Also bashing the power and stuff, though. Looks like the Brother Captain has a Nemesis Force Halberd now, I think. Yep, they do. Meanwhile, Western VP is turning red. Blue team taking their natural VP back. Incendiary thrown in. I think that's going to do a huge amount. In Shield Wall, though, they can tank all this regular melee and power melee pretty well. Oh, here comes a Grey Knight Dreadnought with a multi... Oh, it's a Space Marine Dreadnought with a multi melter. That should really help. Take down these Tyrant Guards. I'm trying to get the base turrets down. It was a mistake to push into base and stay here this long, I think. It might be that they're trying to... They're just trying to use this opportunity to grab the map and then go tier 3. Because they are pinning back the red team for a huge amount of time here. What is this? And they're bashing power and stuff. They're grabbing their natural VP look. They're taking the west side. Some current guard did get away. These guys, guys will mince up the strat squad. There's mind blades. I don't think you want to do that. Yeah, let's get them out of there. They're Hashman wasting Mind Blades on those fellas. Meanwhile, this is still going on. Current guards are starting to fall, though. Like this one, if this one gets out of Shield Wall and charges away, it might get out. But it, it, it refuses to at the moment. I mean, the operatives might have their... No, they won't have their Melter without their Sergeant. The Dreadnought looks confused. It looks very confused, actually. That is the most... There we go. Melee attacking the Tyrant Guard now. Look at the map, though. The map is blue for the Tyranids. Wow. Purifies in now for the Sickness. It's taken a huge amount of time, and the Tyranids have taken over the map, basically, completely. There's a zone throat for Big Mathis, I think. Yep. Another parent guard for Cry. Where are these guys? This is at base. This is uh, this has escaped. This one's in the base. It's dead, basically. This one's in. This one's still alive. Another one just coming out here for Cry. Map is almost completely blue. Triple for the Tyranids. Can they maintain this though? 
got the captain actually doing some good DPS of the Tyrant Guard, so is that side cannon, and so is the Terminator Librarian. Yeah, they, they smacked that thing down. Can they get the Raffin Alpha now? That was weird. I think they tried to borrow it and then immediately retreated. Here's some fire for the Hormagaunts, and they are maybe going to wipe. They grabbed it, they kept it. I don't think they should bother noting it though. Look at this. We have a brood nest. Camping on the VP, the natural VP of the Order Malice. There are five parent guards here. Are they all Bruce Campbell's? No. Three of them are Big Mattresses, two of them are Bruce Campbell's. There is off map uh, Vindicare support from the Eversaur Assassin. That's one of his globals. A Vindicare spots all of the units here and tells you where they are. And they get through this. Having to spread to the west side a bit because here comes the sickness with the sin skin body glove to make Cyclone better. He still has those chem cloud grenades. Sanctuary is popped, knocks back all the Hormagaunts and the Warriors. And the Purifiers will do a lot of damage to a Tyrant Guard. And so will that ever saw with that Neuro Gauntlet. Look at the DPS on the Tyrant Guard here. Pops the shield wall. It was trying to kill the Eversaur. Here comes some Tyrant Guard bodies, though. They can't take on this many of them. Popping the Psychic Field, that's useful. It means they can't go into shield wall or exit shield wall or charge when it's on them. Got some Purifiers. Purifiers here. What are they buffed by? Oh! No, it's not. I thought that was the, ter the Terminator Librarian buff. I don't know what that buff is. Unless it's just a upgrade that doesn't show up on the Terminator's unit card there. The hammer hand thing, whatever it's called. 252 to 113. They have got their VP back, but here's Cry with some hive nodes up. Yeah, it looks like they, that hive node is damaging that Terminator Librarian slightly. So I guess it does a little bit of damage. Dreadnought, level to two, killing those Tyrant Guards. They need to transition to tier three now, but Bruce Campbell and Cry have basically lost everything. 252 to 96. My Perg troops did no damage, says Der Hashman. That's because the Spore Cloud was up. Although, they should have been out of range of it, I guess. I think it yeah, affects incoming damage protect themselves with it I think maybe they're not supposed to and the tyrant guards are still marching there's a pentacle of absolution from the brother captain providing health and energy regen for his stuff there's only a librarian and a brother captain there though I guess it helps those fellas out his own throat getting jumped by operatives uh oh and it's gonna go down Purifiers and Strike Squad and a Terminator Librarian in retreat path. Another Dreadnought, this time a Grey Knight's Dreadnought on the way for Der Hashman. There's a Psychic Field. Have the blue Tyranid team run out of steam. Bruce Campbell's trying to transition to tier 3 now. Fry is still building hive nodes. Trying to decap with them too. 3776. They've got their VPs pretty low, but can they maintain this? They don't have the west side anymore. The Dreadnought needs to get into melee with the Hive node. Let's see how well it's withstanding damage here. Down goes one of them. You get 20 red for a Hive node, apparently. There we go. You can learn something. Is that Grey Knight Dreadnought with the big old Flamestorm cannon thing, whatever it's called, incinerator? I don't know, maybe. 234 to 72. Ravenna Alpha, having annoyed everyone on the map, on the red team, leaves. That's pretty effective, disruptive play there, but they lost their entire army doing it. 234 to 64. I've known seen buggies, says the Hashman. Well, they're strange. And they're not normally seen. But I think they were working correctly. They just massively reduced the incoming damage of things around there. 
Devasaur Assassin's level 4. Crushing Claw Hive Tyrant now for Bruce Campbell. Crushing Claws are 108 Heavy Melee DPS. Improved Synapse in and that Warp Field. More Hive Node in. Why not? Pops the Spore Cloud to try and cap with. Not sure how much the debuff is, but as you can see, able to tank that Psych Cannon pretty well. And it slows stuff down as well. Look, it's slowing down these scouts. 234 to 55. And the Tyranids do this. Cryo needs to get something on the field though, surely. Now the Spore Cloud's run out. They can take down the high from it quickly. Kicking off on the west side big time. That is the Chem Cloud. And there's Psychic Field, and that is Bio Meltdown there. This is going to be nasty. That's a huge amount of damage from Bio Meltdown. Global ability of the Eversaw damages all nearby units. And a big explode if they die. Yeah, that is the this is the Terminator Librarian uh, hammer hand thing, I think it's called. I think that's what it's called. They also had Hyper Metabolism active there, the Eversaw Assassin. 234 to 55. Hurrah, more dreadnoughts. Awesome. Double multi multi dreadnoughts. What an awesome game. I got to see like 17 tyrant guards, it feels like, and double multi multi dreadnoughts. Tier 3 for Cry. A little bit of friendly fire there, fellas. Now it's GG, says Big Mathis. Yeah, they've lost too much. Still popping that hammer hand thing. I'm going to keep pulling a hammer hand. I think that's what it is. Gives you damage resist and I think a melee damage bonus as well. While it's active, it does drain your energy while it's active though. It's pretty powerful for the Terminator Librarian. Now they're getting the Kodokum Eternum. I repair Dreddy. These guys level up. Yeah, level 3, level 1, level 2 with a plasma cannon. This guy. Annoying Fisher with more tactical marines on the way. There's a tier 3 Lictar for Bruce Campbell. Already back to base. Another Lictar coming up. Done a good job pressuring this power here. 209 to 55. Red team now sitting on the 2 to 1. Looks like they don't want to push the mid. They probably don't realize how much damage they've done to the enemy team here. Not always easy to realize just how much you've done. Strat squad struggling with double Hormagaunts with Adrenal Glands, which is understandable. It's a tough fight for him. Do they have any more rolls of the dice to Tyranid team? Ravna Alpha gets the revive up here on Marcelo. He's not pleased by these operatives. Takes one out with Crushing Claws. Not sure about this though, fella. Bruce Campbell's gonna die. 180 to 55. Five node annoying these guys a bit more. Dreadnought's not even contributing to that little fight there. Here's more. This is awesome actually. Eversaw and Purifiers buffed by that Terminator Librarian. He's level 4 now, this guy. 167 to 55. Don't get to see those Terminator Librarians around very much. Just typically as Order Malleus, you get tier 2 in a 3v3. You need to get your anti-vehicle up and then you want and then you want your big tier 3 heavy hitters kind of thing. But that Terminator Librarian can do some great work for you. There's tier 3 for sickness. Carney effects on the way for Bruce Campbell. Neurothrope for Cry. Another Tyrant Guard for Big Mathis. It didn't go Tier 3. Okay, Blob Up. I got a Fex, says Bruce Campbell. There he is. Let's call him Jeremy. What's he going to get, though? No upgrades yet. Tyrano Formation in amongst a Canticle of, of Absolution there. That was awesome, actually. That's the Hashman's canticle to support the Sickness's melee force, as well as some operatives and stuff. And the Eversaw has been kind of badass here. Level 7, 124 to 55. Which 
energy does the Terminator Librarian have? 200 energy at level 4. Oh, is he going to go down? Oh, he goes down. Just as I was bigging him up, he goes down. Well, here's Big Mathis with three more Tyrant Guards. I mean, they do have a bunch of Plasma here. And double Multimilter Dreadnoughts. The Carnifex Jeremy is a Thornback. He's a big boy. And there's your Neuro Throne. Where's that Paroxysm? There it is. Percentage based damage over time. It's not going to do much to those Dreadnoughts. There's a Cataclysm as well. Which can be handy because you're knocking stuff down inside the Paroxysm. And Jeremy's having a great time. Oh, maybe not anymore. Why did I say that? Run away, Jeremy. He's off. He's out of there. Lictor coming in. Does have heavy melee. And do these guys get the uh, the reduced melee resistance, the 20% one that the Chaos Dread gets? So I always forget about that on the Chaos Dread. Not sure if they do. They bloody should. Ultimelters are awesome. The Grey Knight Dreadnought should he? he doesn't even have a melee weapon. Get that load out. Ouch. Some friendly fire again on his purifiers. 78 to 55. Double for the red team. I don't think the blue team can mount a... Well, it's not a comeback if you're ahead on VPs, but you know what I mean. They, I don't think they can turn this around in terms of engagements on the ground. But look at this. Ravenna Alpha gets through. The sickness with the Vortum Arrays are back on the way. More Tyrant Guard for Big Mathis. They're really going in hard on this Tyrant Guard thing. I'm I'm here for it. Level 3 Terminator Librarian for their Hashman. That was a Cataclysm. Hero Throw needs to be very careful though. Not the toughest thing around. 750 on a single entity can die very quickly in Tier 3. Here comes Jeremy. Charging through for what might be a glorious death here. But uh, Marcelo with crushing causes in there too. Some rippers spawned in to try and tie up the um, Plasma Cannon Dreadnought. But I don't think you can, can you? Yeah, it doesn't have a melee weapon, so it just keeps shooting at you. You might get both of these multi-meter Dreadnoughts down though. Marcelo goes down. Go on, Jeremy. Gets it. Gets a sink kill too. Awesome stuff. Awesome stuff. And here's some Tyrant Guards. Blue team giving it a really good go here, you know. They've got the single cap. There's an orbital. To stop the cap. Is that an, there's a zone throat on it, I think. They are going to get Jeremy down here, I believe. Maybe. Paroxysm thrown in. Purifiers. Look like they're going after the Lictor. There's a weird domino knockback going on. There's Cataclysm again. Jeremy and the Tyrant Guard chasing down the Vortima. Purifiers level 3 chasing down Jeremy. They do have that heavy melee hammer. Down he goes. He's done a good job though. 25 to 12. Did the Tyranids have this? Wow. They might have this. 2 to 1 cap. Paladin's coming in. There's the one-to-one. -one. In on the Hive Tyrant. This is a Rubio. Well, there's Paroxysm on those Paladins. Look at the damage Paroxysm did there. That's like a, a fifth or something of their health bar. There's Mind Blades up. That's bad news for that Tyrant Guard. 25 to 7. Got some Purifiers chasing down the Neuro Throat. Current guard, you know what? Took longer than I thought to go down to those paladins there. Did some good damage to him, charging through. Oh, there's the game. Blue team did it. Amazing. I thought they had no chance. What a cool game. We saw so many tyrant guards. Then we saw a big old comeback from the red team. But the Tyranids kept the pressure up somehow. Somehow they pulled it off. Awesome stuff. We saw Marcelo got to level 4. The Ravenna Alpha, level 5, narrowly escaping a plasma gun shot there, looks like. Rubio the Hive Tyrant, level 8, with that Venom Cannon. Eversaur Assassin, it was fun to watch, level 7. The Apothecary, level 7, really appreciate all those dreadnoughts that annoying fish have got out. Look, they had another one, and another one on the way. 
And dear Hashman's level 7 brother captain got those paladins up. But it wasn't enough at the end. It was not enough at the end. Had holy, holy armor of Titan and everything. Well, there you have it, guys. It was a fun and weird 3v3 that the players didn't seem to be taking completely seriously. But it was awesome. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.